I don't know what my last snap's gonna be. I wanna do the best I can with every second that I have. Their amazing ride in 2015 will continue. The Ottawa Red Blacks are going to the Grey Cup. As long as the clock was running, I still had to believe that we was going to win the game. We're going to burn some clock, hold on to the ball, all right? And there's Here the quarterback goes. running for another first down. We knew all we needed was just one second on the clock. We were going to make something happen. Henry Burris and the Ottawa Red Blacks are going to need some more magic. But the unfortunate part was that time never came. Another first down, and that should do it. It was tough just sitting there. You know, watching them drive down the field. Victory formation for all the MOP can do is watch. As the clock strikes midnight on a storybook Ottawa Red Black season. It comes so close, but to not pull it off was really the big disappointment. The tough part is for, for myself as a quarterback being 41 years old, my time is limited now. My focus is coming in to this 2016 season and to win that championship. It's one of those situations where nothing but a great cup victory this year can be seen as a successful season. After leading the Red Blacks to an unexpected great cup appearance in 2015, Henry Burris was prepared to lead them back again when he found his position on the team contested. The Ottawa Red Blacks have stabilized their quarterback position after coming to terms with Trevor Harris on a two-year deal. I want to put doubt in people's minds of who's supposed to play, but that's my job as a backup for Henry this year is to be the best backup. You can never have too many good quarterbacks. I mean, he was a good player in Toronto. We got tired of losing to him. I guarantee you that lease around Henry Burrow's neck is a lot shorter now. As long as I was assured that this was my job and nobody was just going to come in and take it from me, that's all I needed to hear. I was worried about this situation because you had a guy who was arguably the best quarterback in the league for the first three quarters of the season playing on the same team as the MOP of the CFL. For the Red Blacks, the first minutes of the regular season would come as a reminder of their last in 2015. Edmonton, the only team that Campbell's Red Blacks have yet to beat. When we played Edmonton week one, it was all about getting revenge. Things were off to a great start. Until along came the unexpected. What's wrong? What's happened? He just dropped to the turf. That pinky finger got twisted around. It was one of those things where your heart kind of stops when Henry went down the way he did. I don't know, like, could this be, you know, devastating towards the season? I pretty much broke my finger. And so it brings Trevor Harris in, and he's going to air it out, wide open, it's dry! Chris Williams, welcome to Ottawa, Trevor Harris. Trevor was brought in as the future, and uh, the future happened faster than we anticipated. Love Henry Burris, but damn, that second half was a killer. It was like magic. Everything was working how we wanted it to go. Harris goes deep. He's got his man. He's got a touchdown. Trevor Harris, a perfect 8 for 8. 89 yards on that opening drive. And he's done it again. It's a feel-good story, maybe for everybody except for Henry Burris. With Harris and the Red Blacks firing on all cylinders, a Week 5 matchup with the Rough Riders would bring the offense to a grinding halt. It's not a good sign. Trevor Harris is down. Harris is hurt. Trevor Harris is now out of the Red Blacks lineup. In the back of my mind, I was thinking that I haven't done anything in over a month. You know, how's the hand? Is it 100%? Can I go? To hear people talk the way they were just showed you that, for me, the vultures were always waiting to bite on the bone. Hurry, hurry! Dad. And man, did they feast. And down on the ground is fumbled. Henry Burris just was not good enough. You don't forget how to play the game in five weeks. He made some rookie mistakes out there. I just don't think there's dangerous an offense with Henry. Burris throwing, and it's picked off. Henry Burris as a quarterback must play better. I don't think it has anything to do with Henry Burris's pinky. I think it's right here, these six inches. You can only take so much criticism. Henry Burris puts his red blocks back in the wind hole. Take that. You know, where's these guys? 
to TSN who always want to jump on me every week. And uh, for people who are out there, I've turned around four teams in this league. And I've done help do it here, too. So all the people talking junk out there, you can take that and shove it. All right? That's all I got to say. You sound like a baby right now. He says shove it because, you know, he thinks he's not appreciated the way he, he, he should be. And he knows he has the end of his career, so he can pretty much say whatever he wants to. So, I mean, just go for it, Hank. You know, you do what you got to do. I'll be there on the field with you. We'll go and win some games. Montreal comes in and shocks Ottawa this evening. 43-19 the final for the Alouettes. Punching things up one through four in the East Division. It was announced Trevor Harris would come off the injured list and start at quarterback. Any decision we ever make as we're trying to give the, the Ottawa Red Blacks the best chance to win games. To me, it was tough to take the, the news. And then I felt like, oh, so you're just going to kick me off the bus at the next stop. You've got to know that Henry Burris, given his competitiveness, he will be gunning to prove that he is not done as a CFL quarterback. Maybe this is an opportunity for you just to get back to being you again, because right now, you know you're not you. Over the next six weeks, the Red Blacks struggle with consistency. Trevor was out there doing everything. He was balling his butt off. But this is still my team. In week 17, the Red Blacks turned to Burris once again. We knew we had to win that game on the road in order to win the East. Burris wants to throw. Now he goes, and Henry Burris with the first down. Pump fake. And the go route and juggling act, and he's going to score. How about that? Burris takes it himself and scores again. Henry Burris. Ottawa finishes first in the East and will host the Eastern Final for a second consecutive year. Their opponent is a familiar one. So here we are, back in the East Final one more time. And who comes to calling again? The Evil Empire. A great cup rematch in the CFL Eastern Final. Well, since week one of training camp, guys were saying that they lost that game, they should have won that game. They had it, they blew it, and I think they're going to bring everybody and anything at us, but we're not scared of it, we're waiting. It's showtime, baby. The Snow Bowl 2016, the Eastern Final, is underway. First quarter, Ottawa looks to set the tone early as Burris leads the offense down the field. The 41-year-old comes out throwing. With the weather raging, Ottawa looks to run early and often. And off Padu, cuts up the middle, powers forward, six-yard gain, closes Padu. And it off to Padu. Then the Red Blacks suffer a key loss on their first drive. Moses Madu has gone to the sideline and it was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision. That could be a big factor today if Madu is out of the lineup. Unfortunately, it's part of the game, injuries. You gotta expect to be able to go in when your number's called. Then it was just another opportunity to, to go out and show what, uh, what I can do. Is that Keenan LaFrance? It is, so LaFrance in. After driving down the field, the Red Blacks put the first points on the board. And it is good, so Ray Early gives Ottawa the lead in the snow. The Red Blacks are driving the field and threatening again. And now, up the middle goes Keenan LaFrance. Hurry, hurry, good. The first touchdown in the Eastern Final is scored by a familiar playoff hero. Touchdown, Ottawa! Greg Ellingson! Here we go, Greg Ellingson! We were pumped. I mean, the whole, the whole first half, we were just, you know, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. First back to pass throws. will take a 17-3 lead into halftime. Y'all are dominating them up front. What we gonna do? No say. Ball on three. One, two, three. Ball. In the second half, the Eskimos defense come out flying. That's a good open field tackle there by J.C. Sherry. Just selling it out, came flying, takes the legs out from under LaFrance. But late in the third, 
momentum swings back in Ottawa's favor. I caught it, and it just opened like the red sea. And there he goes in Edmonton territory to the 30, 20, 15, 10. Gets it through the snow into the end zone. Touchdown, Ottawa! Whew. I'm like, man, <laughs> good luck, because ain't nobody going to catch this guy. Once he's gone, he's gone. And they rolled. White still on his feet. He gets to the 15. Still going. What a run by John White. Would not be denied. Ronnie takes a drop back. Steps up into the pocket. Throws. There it is. Touchdown Eskimos. All right, here we go. Four quarter. Let's go. And the ball comes free and the Eskimos jump on it. Yes, the Eskimos have control of it. The defense comes up big and sends the offense back onto the field. Once Edmonton scored, we grouped on the sidelines in offense, and we said to ourselves that, that guys, you know, if there's any moment that a championship team regroups to close out the game, it's right now. They actually pushed to really get in that end zone. And he breaks the tackle. He's got the first down. He's got more. Touchdown, Ottawa. Keenan LaFrost, the unlikeliest hero, will seal it. And the Red Bulls are going down to the Great Cup. It's the best birthday gift I could ever get. Heading the Great Cup for the second time in a row. We're not gonna let y'all down this year, baby. We're gonna bring that ring back home. We're gonna bring that ring. If you're gonna doubt us in the Great Cup, I don't mind proving you wrong again. Last year's chapter won't be closed until we make amends and get that W and bring that trophy home where it truly belongs here in the nation's capital. I gotta get it done. In my heart, in my mind, in my soul, I feel I'm worthy of another great cup. You know, for me, in my mind, there's a huge side of me that says this is it. You always have this itch that you want to go out on top with everything you do. This is my moment, and this is my opportunity to make sure time stands still for me. But for Burris and the Red Blacks to have their moment, they must first face a team Burris knows all too well. Stan Peters, one of the best teams in the modern day history of the CFL at 15, two and one. The Calgary Stampeders, they are an execution machine. If they win this game, this team will be the greatest of all time. For them to be a team with only two losses, we knew it was gonna be a dogfight because these guys were good. They have a championship team. All the naysayers put us as underdogs. It's portrayed David and Goliath. The 104th 
Breakup game, East meets West. The Red Blacks tackle the Stampeders for the first time from BMO Field. I take the field tonight, and all of a sudden during warm-ups, I feel a pop in my knee, and I feel some grinding going on. <sighs> this can't be happening right now. Niggas locking up on me right now. Okay. Man, I'm not gonna be able to play in this game. Transfer your judgment if you can do it. Yeah, yes, sir. When we we heard he was hurt, oh my god, like that's that's the, that's the worst bad luck for Hank, knowing how much he wants this. I told him, you guys go ahead and get started. I'll be there. Is Henry going to be playing? In dramatic fashion, we see Hank run out <laughs> right, uh, right before the, the national anthem. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! That's just Hank. That's that's my soldier. I can go. Yes, sir. I can go. Off. First quarter, after a quick out by the Stampeders, Burris and the Red Blacks offense take the field. It's Craig Ellingson, and he has a first down. We just took what the defense gave us on that first drive, and it was all about getting the ball in the end zone. After a dominant first drive, Burris caps it off by putting any concerns about his knee to rest. Henry Burris, touchdown! Must have confidence in that leg. Red Black strike first. Exactly, man. A quick response from the Stampeders ties things up. Then the Red Blacks push back. If you were coming in and expecting a blowout from our part, you're out of your mind. Ottawa goes in front here, 10-7. And it looks like Ottawa has it. We got to step up. Too many guys are running free right now. LeBlanc's going to score a touchdown. Touchdown, Ottawa. Downfield, and it is picked off. Oh, what a catch by Forrest Hightower. And this one is intercepted. Right now, it is all Ottawa Red Blacks. He puts it through, and the Red Blacks have a 20-7 lead at the half. Hey, this is all we got right now, guys. This is it. Sometimes it's just as simple as how bad you want it, man. Third quarter. Ottawa picks up where they left off. And it's a touchdown! Brad Sinopoli! Just when it looked like Ottawa was going to run away with it, the regular season's most dominant team returns to form. And it's now 27 to 10. And going to the end zone is Lamar Durant. It's a touchdown, Calgary! You like that? Hey, you like that? That's all day, baby. This is what I do. Buckley will go right side, and he scores the touchdown! The Red Blacks are barely holding on to the lead. They needed that drive right there, big time. And the Stampeders' onslaught continues. First down, touchdown! Hey, give me the ball back. Hey, give me the ball back! Onside kick, and it is... Recovered. It's recovered by the Stampeders! Ottawa was doing everything they could. Dual Kane tripped him up. But it wasn't enough. 
And now it comes down to this to send this game to overtime. And we're all tied at 33. And the Calgary Stampeders have come all the way back. Once they climbed back and they tied us, not a guy flinched on that sideline. I knew it was our destiny to win this thing. You want to win it for yourself, you want to win it for, for everyone, but knowing that his career is coming to an end, uh, you know, you want to do it for him. In the shootout, Burris takes the shotgun, trying to win the Grey Cup for Ottawa. When the ball was snapped and I saw that hole that I needed, I just stayed patient and let Ejack come in there. Burris now, play action. The ball hit his hands and I lost it. Oh man, really messing with my heart. Oh, what a catch! Oh, can you believe that catch? Ernest Jackson has the football in the end zone. I'm still looking around thinking, he actually caught that? Oh, he <laughs> check out his all. Man, that was crazy. Uh, that guy's clutch, man. The Calgary Stampeders well, they have to get to the end zone. They know what's in front of them. Looks. He goes end zone now. Jump ball and through the hands. Need a first down and a quick hitter. Now it's third down. I can watch it. No. I can watch it. Nah. I'll tell you. Nah. I'll tell you what happens. I'm watching it and I'm stunned. I know this is a dream. Tears started to flow. Man, this is truly a phenomenal moment. Wow! <laughs> uh, the Cups is coming back to Ottawa. Our nation, thank you. Honestly, this one's for you guys. It's gonna be one heck of a party in Ottawa. <laughs> wow. You talk about a journey. Here we are as the 2016 Great Gun Champions. We did it for you, baby! We did it one for you! If there's a script to, to finish out a career, this is the perfect script. There's really nothing else I can accomplish. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. He's the ultimate warrior, and uh, we're happy we have him. He's the best quarterback I've ever been around. He's a friend. I'm just so happy for him. I'm, I feel just blessed to be here right now. We got it! We got it! Ah. There's no league in this world like the CFL. It's the greatest league in the world. And here's another piece that gives proof 